Manchester United's final match of the Premier League season. It is against Ajax in that in the Europa League. Really, really looking forward to this. This is the ultimate one for Manchester United. All them league games towards the end of the season were pretty much for nothing in the end. Trying to get to that top four and then when we realised it wasn't happening, resting players and all sorts. But this really is the one that matters most. This is more important than any other final we've had in recent years, the League Cup, the FA Cup, because the Champions League is at stake as well as winning the trophy. And it is not that easy to win this trophy with the fact that you've got to play so many games and we've seen even decent sides not win it in recent years. Premier League opposition, Liverpool and Tottenham have both been knocked. Liverpool got to the final last year and Tottenham got knocked out to Ghent this year. So it does prove that it isn't actually as easy. OK, the teams on paper that Manchester United have played, we should have been beaten to get to the final. But as I say, Ghent knocked out Tottenham. So it, it's no walkover. And Tottenham are a fantastic Premier League side. So I'm not underestimating this tournament as in terms of its difficulty to win the tournament. Now, obviously, Manchester United, the amount of money we've spent, we should be looking to win this tournament. And from the start, a lot of people weren't even bothered if we even participated in it. But... Now it's become our main priority and winning a European trophy is always good because you can't win that Champions League very often. Not many teams even get to a final of the Champions League more than once or twice in, in a decade even with, with a good team. So to win this could be a stepping stone for a lot of these youngsters as well. A lot of these youngsters, the likes of Rashford, if they could win it, he would have won three trophies already at Manchester United. That would be incredible. An incredible 18 months it would be for Marcus Rashford and players of that ilk if we can win the tournament. Now, it's going to be very, very difficult. I'm not overly confident that we're going to do it, but I do believe we probably will just get over the line somehow. I think it will not be a great game, but I think we're just going to probably scrape this one. Cup finals are not always the best of games anyway. They can be tense, nervous... And they can often be decided by a mistake, a spectacular goal like we saw from Jesse Lingard last season in the FA Cup Finals. So even if you're playing against lesser opposition, now Ajax probably are lesser opposition to Manchester United. We are going in as favourites. It's not always the, the way that you're going to roll them over. We struggled with Southampton in the League Cup Final as well, even when we went two goals up. So, And we had Zlatan Ibrahimovic that day who got a couple of the goals. So... It's going to be a very difficult game, but he's going to put the strongest lineup possible that he thinks is the best. Now, the team that I think he's probably going to go for will be, obviously, he said that Romero's in goal, so that is going to be Romero in goal. Uh, Damian will probably be at left-back with Valencia at right-back. Now, the two centre-halves, I'm not too sure. He's going to obviously go with Blind as one of them, but um, I would personally think Phil Jones has probably been the better option this season, but he may choose to go with Small, and it's going to be between them two for that spot. Now, midfield, he's going to put Fellaini in there, I'm pretty sure, unless he's not fit for this game. And he'll, he'll be in midfield with Pogba and Herrera. Now, the wide positions are the problem for Manchester United here. What is he going to go for? I think he's going to put Lingard on one side, Mkhitaryan on the other with Marcus Rashford up front. That's how I feel he's going to go. I don't think the likes of Martial have done enough to get into the team. While Matt has been injured for a while, so I don't think he's done enough. Wayne Rooney certainly hasn't done enough to get into the team. So I think that is pretty much what Jose Mourinho will go for. I don't really want to see see Marrow and Fellaini in midfield. And, but it's just just how it's going to be at the, be this, this particular moment in time. Hopefully Manchester United can shuffle the pack next season in terms of personnel and bring in some better quality into the team. Now, Ajax, as I say, I don't know too <clears throat> too much about Ajax. I didn't watch any of their games in the Europa League this season, but I've got one player on loan from Chelsea who did manage to get, I think he got a goal or two, in the first leg of the game against Lyon. Now, they beat Lyon, but Lacazette didn't start that first leg and did start the second leg and scored some goals in that, and they beat them 3-1 in the game. So, I don't know. They, they let a lot of goals in. They're apparently a young team, so I think Manchester United could get out their defence which could be a problem for Ajax. But I'm not really expecting too much of an open game. Now, that, that does give me a bit of confidence that Leon did beat them three goals to one in that second leg, but probably Ajax took their foot off the gas a little bit after that first leg, probably thinking the tie was almost won, which is a bit stupid to do after a first leg. But when you go and win a first leg comfortably, it's always hard to get up for that second leg and to go out there and win it. 
out right so you know how it's, how it's going to plan out I wouldn't take too much into it but the fact that they were beaten in that second leg 3-1 which Manchester United haven't been beaten that badly this season at all we've only really had one really bad result against Chelsea that four goals to nil one but besides that we've been pretty decent we haven't lost that a whole host of games considering this will be the 64th game of the season I, I don't know how many losses we've actually had but it, it isn't even 10 so that is decent for Manchester United this season. It's just too many draws. But obviously this one can't be a draw. So I'm going to put my neck on the line for this one. And actually say that Manchester United will get the job done. In the 90 minutes. I'm hoping it doesn't go all the way like that FA Cup one. That was tense. We were losing that for a few minutes. and I really thought twice we were going to lose that. When Smalling got sent off. And when we were 1-0 down. So hope we don't have to go through that. That is how you want to win a cup final. But I don't... And, and the same... With that Southampton one, that they're the two ways you want to scoring last-minute goals or scoring a cracker to win it. They're the they're the sort of goals and that, that you remember. You don't remember the ones where you swat aside a team four or five nil. But in the actual game, when the game's being played, that is how you want the game to go because your nerves cannot take it. But I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be tense, and I'm going to go for a Manchester United win. I'm going to put my neck on the line and go two goals to one for Manchester United. Hopefully, we can get the job done. And then it will end a, a decent season for Manchester United. It won't be a vintage season, but it will be a decent one. Two trophies in Jose Mourinho's first season would be fantastic for me, considering he's had a lot of problems with the squad. Players aren't as good as he thought they were. Players have really underperformed. Some players have been out injured. And all, all sorts of problems. And to ju juggle a lot of competitions. It hasn't been an easy season for his first season in charge. I think he thought it would be a bit easier than this. But hopefully he will know which players he wants to bring in the summer. Which players, I'm sure he knows which players he wants to ship out in the summer. I think I've got a feeling the likes of Martial and Luke Shaw are, are treading on thin ice with their Manchester United careers. He must know which ones he wants to get rid of. And I think as soon as, if we get the Champions League football, I think early on in the summer he will just go bang, bang, bang. Get the signings in he wants and ship out the ones he doesn't want. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. I'm just praying that we get the job done win the game however we win it if it's an own goal whatever just get the job done win the game and then we can have a good summer relax think about the summer transfers then and move on like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll talk to you all again soon see ya